Once upon a time, there was a girl named Pinang who lived with her mother Aling Pina in a small village. Pinang was a girl who always played with her friends outside their house. She used to spend her whole day with just playing with them. She never helped her mother in doing the household chores. Whenever her mother asked her to do simple things like cleaning her room, she always refused to obey her mother. She preferred to go outside and join her playmates. That is why Aling Pina had no choice but to do everything herself. Since Pinang's father died years ago, all the responsibilities were left in Aling Pina's shoulder. She worked hard to earn money and spend extra time for household chores. Since Pinang was too lazy to do the household chores, she doesn't know anything about it. One day, Aling Pina got sick. She was badly sick that she couldn't even stood up. She was just lying in her bed without enough energy to move. After a while, she touched her stomach as she felt hungry. Since she had no strength, she had no choice but to ask Pinang to cook. Pinang, can you cook a porridge for me? Pinang was so annoyed, but since she knew that she had no choice, she go to the kitchen with a heavy heart. After a while, she came back to ask her mother for the pot. Where can I find the pot? Aling Pina told her where to find it. So, she came back to the kitchen to start cooking. Aling Pina was about to take a nap when Pinang came to ask for another thing. Again, her mother told her where to find it. After a minute, Pinang came back to ask for the ladle, which was located just next to the pot. Due to her sickness and annoyance, Aling Pina got angry. I wish you grow hundred of ice so that you will be able to see what you're looking for. Pina came back to the kitchen as if she didn't hear anything. Meanwhile, Aling Pina fell asleep on her bed. Hours after, Aling Pina woke up with a better feeling. She stood up and looked for her daughter who's gone from her side. She thought that Pinang was probably playing with her friends, but she was wrong. She couldn't find Pinang anywhere. She went to the neighbors to ask if they happened to see her daughter. But no one saw Pinang around. She started to worry. After a while, she reached their garden in their backyard. There she saw Pinang's slippers beside a weird plant. She haven't seen that plant before. So, she stared at the plant and then realized that it has hundreds of ice-like features on its body. She cried hard upon remembering what she told Pinang hours ago. She realized that her statement came true. Pinang did grow hundreds of ice. From that time, Aling Pina felt sorrow and bereavement. She's crying all day and all night. To show her love to her lost daughter, she took good care to the weird plant and she called it Pina, then later known as Pinya or Pineapple, a weird plant with hundreds of eyes. And that is the legend of Pineapple.